wonder how he's uh, going to play tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. I wonder if he's going to look to be the aggressor tonight or that one has just gone underneath his bat or if he's going to be uh, more of a, an anchor tonight. Again, a big full toss in Thuranga. Just enough bat on that. We'll get to the boundary fielder. Deep backward square, unable to cut it off. See, it's throwing it in. Just works that into the offside. Well balled by Thundy. Gets a boundary, though. Towards Sudden and strays straight on the pads. And that's going to make its way over to us here. Yeah, not a fan of that, but of course it... Oh, this Ooh, one. Dropped and opportunity. Gets a finger on out. it. Has to go. So Sudden, unlucky there. Pangal, very fortunate to get a wicket in that in that delivery. Drop chance, but getting just enough on it to direct it onto the stumps. Shukla comes in for his first ball, and Kumara puts that well over mid-wicket. Good fielding in the end, potentially saving the boundary. I think the umpires may want to have a look at this one, though. So we can see here that all the fielders in the offside are up. That will be another four through extra cover. Good shot in the end. For me, just a bit of on that from Kamara. Gets it away for four behind. Fine leg. Tidy over and Thuranga there. Down the wicket. That ball's going to just drop in front of the fielder. It's what is Rani then. Thick outside edge. And that will run away for four. Just a four from it so far. As Thuranga puts that one high up in the air, keeper is under it, does take the catch, and Thuranga has to depart for 12 from 14 deliveries. And the simplest of catches there for the keeper. Thuranga goes straight to and that ball will just drop oh, short of the, the man, but that's beating him, that's gone all the way to the boundary. Pati Rana then, just moving to the offside, opening up the leg side a bit, beats the man at square leg. Big chase for him to get there. But for me, that looks to me have just... Just probably a bit of frustration as he does get hold of that one. Just bounces over the rope for six runs. First six of the night. Yeah, certainly, especially with eight wickets in hand. I've got to have go here. Kamara puts that one in the air. Catch, unfortunately, going down. Just, just staying a bit too straight. Fielder just diving over the top of that one will be four. The Sri Lankan Lions will certainly hope so. And that one just played out towards backward square. Four, four runs fielded by his teammates there in the Sri Lankan Lions dugout. Yeah. Patirana facing these last two. And Got a run. Low four toss that one. The umpires just look to each other and it seems to be a legitimate delivery but that will be the end of the Sri Lankan Lions innings they'll finish on 96 for two Kamara there 34 from 26 deliveries Patirana 17 from 10 so good recovery from them in the last couple of overs to get up to above 90 the Amdocs won't be too disheartened though chasing that big score by the Nicosia fighters Sri Lankan Lions Wanting to take that momentum into finals day tomorrow night. They'll match up against the Cyprus Mufflons to be crowned champions of the fan code. Cyprus Songkor. There we have the first runs off the bat of Sagwan for the Amdocs. He gets off the mark from his second ball. The Sagwan just plays that one. Just beating the man there. Will go to the boundary for four. First boundary then of the Amdocs innings. Sagwan moves on to six. A good start to the second over for Amdocs. You see here the man back into the attack. Here's Kamal Kamal Riaz. Apple just evading third man. Another boundary then for the Amdocs. So after that first over they looking to have started to accelerate. Probably just wanted to see a good start to the over is Kaduri just works that one off his pads for four down the leg side. Big four runs needed then for the Amdocs. Yeah, clever batting. He's just noticed that there's no one down there at fine leg and just shuffled across his stumps. Just a bit wider though. 
There's that one. Bit of cheer music then for Kadori. Throw to the stumps. Does then see the back of Sagwan. He has to depart. Good work by the keeper. Yep, very good cricket awareness. Could have easily just accepted that that ball was too high and would be an extra. Good option there as he puts that one high up in the air. The fielder is coming under it, but oh, unfortunately no. drops the chance. So he did the hard work. Is there again advancing down the wicket? Does he beat the fielder? Does beat the fielder indeed? That will hurt the bowler. He will be fuming after he should have had a wicket previous delivery. The next one going for four. And how often do we see that happen? Don't have any chance of it. Yeah, big appeal there by the bowler. Hey, he's got a wicket there. So the first wicket for a bowler. Not really look to get going in this run chase. There's three overs left. See that first ball there. Flayed into that point region for four runs. Dundee there just adjusting himself. And he gets a thick outside edge. He unfortunately can only find third man as that just nestles safely into his hands. And Dandy has to depart for a golden duck, unfortunately for him. Yeah, now you just get that feeling that... And he connects with one, but can only just get through for a single. So after through the ninth over, there's 60 for three is Kadori. That was it, pierces, like a traceable of that one. Pierces. Long on and long off perfectly. Straight down the ground. Gun barrel straight. That had hit him on the foot. And this one followed up by a six here. So two rare boundaries in succession here. And uh, could this be a little late fight back from the MDOX? Or is it a little bit too little too late? The president of the Cyprus Cricket Association, Mohammed is saying, he's saying easy win for the MDOX. Is that? Well, oh, there's one. There Straight one. six back down the ground. And that never really got much higher than head height. That was hit very hard. So three sixes needed. And again, that one just worked into leg side for four runs. Only manages to get that four, but. So yeah, Sidon comes in now for his fifth ball. And Kaduri has put that one high up in the air. Just going over the fielder there at long on for another six. He moves on to 49. Where was this uh, two overs ago? Kaduri on 49 then. Can he get a personal milestone? And it he looks like does he will. Get his 50. Unfortunately though, it's not enough for the Amdox. And they fall short by eight runs. So the Sri Lankan Lions then taking victory in the first game of this evening. Dury there though, finishing with 50 from 31 deliveries. Just leaving the charge a little too late, did the Amdox. Still have plenty of wickets in the shed to go and they really needed to start up in the ante in the seventh over. If they were to get to that target of 97, that was set by the Sri Lankan Lions. 